Good boy. You're being a good boy, aren't you? Yeah. Yes. How to start a business. Just get on with it. We all procrastinate far too much, want everything to be perfect. It never will be. So just go for it. The best age to start a business, well, there isn't a perfect age. When you're younger, you have far less financial responsibilities. And when you're older, you have the wisdom of life. The average age of an entrepreneur in the UK is 46. So it's never too late. How to find your audience? Well, the point is, your audience is not everybody and should not be everyone. The best businesses are run by founders where they are actually their customer. So the question is, where would you find more people like you? How to build a brand? One of my favorite questions. You need to stand for something that's more than the products that you sell or the services that you provide. You need to share a vision that unites your customers and creates a community. How do you compete with big brands? Remembering that your uniqueness is exactly how you compete. Make sure you tell your brand story, the small business story, the founder story. Big businesses wish that they had this. It's one of the most important tools in your small business toolkit. Building customer loyalty. Stand for something that you both believe in. Invite your customer in on that journey and then have the most extraordinary experience together. Do something that's unexpected. Make sure that you have an offline presence as much as an online presence. Normally these work perfectly hand in hand. To be your own boss, make a plan and concentrate on three things that will drive your ship forward, three things your future self will thank you for. And it's amazing how these actions help grow your business. Absolutely not. We have on average 29,000 days on this planet and we've got to make sure every single one counts. There's so many free resources out there, such as Google Skills Training. The most important thing though, is for you to go for it. Chewy, Mudley. Good boy. <laughs> My most productive habit. Of course, it's a dog walk. I get to dream the future, visualize, listen to a podcast, and then I'm ready to seize the day.